Burr Feinstein. Names that will live in infamy. It is now uh, in officially a bill. Um, the Compliance with Court Orders Act of 2016. Or the Mindless Stupidity and We Want It Now Act of Mindless. It is the sense of Congress that no person is above the law. Economic growth, prosperity, security, stability, and liberty require adherence to the rule of law. So... All providers of communications, services, and products, including software, must, to uphold the rule of law, listen to a judicial order, and in a timely manner, respond to an authorized judicial order for information or data. It has to be intelligible information, in other words, not encrypted, mm -hmm. or appropriate technical assistance to obtain such information or data. This is not prescriptive. It doesn't tell them tell us how we should do it. It doesn't mention back doors. It's just your requirement. If you're Apple or Google or Microsoft or Dropbox or anybody selling stuff, you need to have a way to unencrypt it if law enforcement comes knocking on your door. Furthermore, it also applies to third parties, so-called licensed distributors, which means that Apple in its App Store and Google in its Now store, and Microsoft in its Windows store would be required to verify that every single app sold in those stores also provides access. They are required under penalty of law. So if this bill were to become law, it would be the end of encryption in the United States. Not the end of encryption, but... <laughs> At the end of secure encryption. The end of security. Certainly. You call it in your article, Brain Dead... Uh, well, actually, I was quoting Bruce Schneier on that. This is the okay. guy who literally... I trust him. Yeah, he literally wrote the book on cryptography. And I had some of the stuff that are in that article I had to actually had to leave out because he, he would have got sued over it. But Well, say it, it now and then... Uh, well, it just... It, he just couldn't believe that they were actually putting this so out there. dumb. And saying, right... He point, you point want. out it, it doesn't just affect phones. It would even affect things like compression, like zip. Yep, compression. Even, I mean, on a broad read it, reading... Companies would have to provide deleted data and provide it in an internal way. I mean, it's just... He told you this is the most brain-dead piece of legislation I've ever seen. The person who wrote this either has no idea how technology work or works or just doesn't care. I should point out, Diane Feinstein is the senator for Silicon Valley. I know. How the hell did that happen? She's a California I mean, senator. It just And Richard Burr is from North Carolina, where the research triangle is, some of the mm -hmm. most advanced technology in the world. And these are the chairman and vice chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, which is supposed to oversee the NSA and other intelligence agencies. And That's they an show such a... Oxymoron, mind. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it just it boggles the mind. What on <laughs> earth were they thinking? I mean, it basically says... Do this. It's mathematically impossible, but do it anyway. So what it, so Schneier is saying, if if uh, if you went to uh, Microsoft and said, well, we want that uh, file that was on OneDrive, and, and Microsoft says, well, no, that was deleted, that doesn't work. They have to say, no, here it is. Yeah. Um, Which means they've got to keep a backup of deletions. They've got to keep all, all content. It just, it, it's not physically possible for companies to do this and stay in business. And it's going to make their products about as popular as a rattlesnake in a piñata. I mean, it just it, it it would kill an awful lot of American business. It would possibly even make what the NSA does illegal because I can't see them backdooring their encrypted tech. Now we should point out it's not a foregone conclusion that this will become bill will become law. Uh, it's pretty clear that the president, if he's still president, yeah. will not uh, will veto it.